Cheat Code Support Strategist by My Head in the Clouds Not Coming Down Read by Rat Overlord Chapter 81 Blackout Summary Things Escalate Isuku knew that something was wrong as soon as the power went out. He waited for the backup generators to kick in, but when nothing happened, he immediately kicked into action. He tried to check the cameras, but without the power from the grid or the generators, they were still offline. They would have still had visualization of the students from the little spider bots that May had created, if his computer hadn't been affected by the blackout. This was bad. This was very, very bad. May? Isuku asked. What would cause a critical failure like this? Sabotage, May answered grimly. Someone would have had to destroy or disable every single backup generator and the backups to the backups before cutting the power to get it to go out like this. So this is an attack. Isuku took a deep breath. How soon can we have the power back online? Give me five minutes. May was already grabbing her tools. Maybe ten if I run into trouble. Isuku nodded. I need to track down my laptop. I'll try to find some of the students and have them guard for you. Our highest priorities right now are to get the power back on, and probably to find Uraka since she'll make communication easier. His phone buzzed in his pocket, and he frowned as he looked down at who had messaged him. Why is Kalminari of all people texting me? There was an image attached, and Isuka clicked on it hesitantly, expecting a meme, not a photo of Hitoshi tangled in Mineta's purple balls in one of the back halls of Yue. His mouth went dry. Never mind. Isuku swallowed. Priorities changed. And then they heard something crash. Mina hurried down the hall, looking for any one of her classmates. She'd gotten separated from her partner by some of the 1B students with creepy quirks and hadn't been too concerned about it, but then the lights went out, so it was just her, acid skating down the hall in almost pitch black darkness. She heard a large crash and pushed herself even faster. She saw an odd shape moving away from her through the darkness and called out, Hey, wait up! The shape started going faster and Mina huffed in frustration. Hey, I said, wait up! Don't run away from me! She skated after them as fast as she could go and rammed into them within seconds, sending the shape sprawling to the floor. Hey, what's the big idea? Mineta's shrill voice echoed through the hall and Mina groaned. Of course, it had to be Mineta. She looked around the hall and froze when she saw Shinso, unconscious and completely stuck to a net of purple balls. Um, you weren't partnered with Shinso for the exercise. There was just enough light for her to see Mineta roll his eyes. Yeah, no shit. Now just run away and maybe I'll let you live. What are you talking about? Mina scrambled to her feet. What are you doing with Shinso? None of your business, you bitch! Mineta growled. Uh, no! Mina coated her hands with acid. You're trying to hurt one of my friends, so, uh, duh, yeah, it is my business! She skated by and tried to grab Shinso, only to get tripped up by a barrage of sticky balls landing right in her path. She managed to catch her footing again and turned back towards Mineta, dropping into a fighting stance only to freeze as she realized that the balls were dissolving as soon as they came into contact with her acid. Wait, that looks familiar. Mina's jaw dropped. I saw pictures of that in the news. You're, you're Trapper. You're a villain. Nice of you to finally catch on. Mineta said dryly. Now get out of my way. Todoroki looked around the room when the lights went out taking in the teacher's expressions with a growing sense of dread. The blackout isn't part of the exercise, is it? No. Aizawa said seriously. It isn't. Well, the plans to attack the camp obviously didn't work. Shigaraki said. So instead of just abandoning the quest, they must have decided to just keep going after their objectives and attack Yue directly. If they had the balls to do it, though, they didn't run it by me at all. Is there anything else that you can give us? Nedzu said. I cannot imagine that you would come here without significant leverage. I can tell you about the party members and their quirks. Shigaraki offered. They did the little side quests at the mall to try and hide them, which I didn't know about either, for whatever that's worth. 
Sukauchi flipped to a new page in his notebook. You've got a deal. What are we up against? The most serious threats will be a fried chicken nugget called Dobby and a psychotic bitch named Toga. Shigaraki said. Fire powers and a quirk that lets her look like anyone. But they're both smart and they know what they're doing. In terms of immediate danger, though, you're looking out for two escapee convicts. Muscular and Moonfish. I trust you don't need any more info on them. Todoroki watched as Tsukauchi went pale. No, I think we know their threat level just fine. Shigaraki nodded. Okay then, outside of those four, we've got a couple wild cards. Mustard can create poisonous gas, Magne has magnetic powers, and Mr. Compress can do what his name says, compress stuff into puny little marbles. They're all dangerous. Sensei wouldn't have recruited them otherwise. Very well, Netsu said. Aizawa, get a hold of President Mike. I think we'll have a use for radio communications. I will call Mandalay and have her use telepathy to inform the students. Muscular grinned and shook out his fist. How did I do, boss? This is about killing false heroes, not showing off! Spinner complained. Oh, come on now. Mr. Compress cut in. Destroying the walls of Yue with one punch is quite impressive. See? Muscular flexed. Someone appreciates my greatness! Now let's get some blood! Blood! Moonfish groans, sounding almost inspired. Finally! Spinner growled. We have work to do. Yay! Toka jumped up and down. I get to drink all the little hero's blood! This is gonna be so much fun! Just make sure you get enough. Dobby said. Mustard, cover our path so the local heroes can't give back up. Don't tell me what to do! Mustard growled, but even as he spoke, he was already letting off a large cloud of poisonous gas. These fake heroes don't stand a chance! Before we fight, just remember that Trapper has been exposed. Dobby warned. So if you see him, get him out. Oh, and Shiggy's a traitor, so kill him if you get the chance, and assume these heroes know our quirks. Heh, <laughs> as if that'll help him. Muscular cracked his knuckles. These heroes don't stand a chance. Howdy, howdy, y'all. Well, it's kind of hard to believe that this is officially my 100th video! Shout out to past me for my killer grind set. Like, not gonna lie, I kind of popped off. But anyways, as of this video is posting, I will have officially released about 30 hours worth of content. That's a little wild and wacky if you ask me. My Q&A video will also be coming out shortly after this one, so stay tuned for that monstrosity. But as always, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to leave a like or comment down below, because I always love hearing from you guys. And make sure to subscribe so you stay up to date with whenever I post. And here's your little daily reminder to go grab yourself a cup of that dihydrogen monoxide.